Kitisa. And Yahuwah spoke to Moshe, saying, When you take the census of the children of Israel to register them, then each one shall give an atonement for his life to Yahuwah when you register them, so that there is no plague among them when you register them. Everyone among those who are registered is to give this, half a shekel according to the shekel of the set-apart place, twenty geras being a shekel. The half shekel is the contribution to Yahuwah. Everyone passing over to be registered from 20 years old and above gives a contribution to Yahuwah. The rich does not give more, and the poor does not give less than a half shekel. When you give a contribution to Yahuwah to make atonement for yourselves. And you shall take the silver for the atonement from the children of Yisrael, and give it for the service of the tent of appointment, and it shall be to the children of Yisrael for a remembrance before Yahuwah to make atonement for yourselves. And Yahuwah spoke to Moshe, saying, And you shall make a basin of bronze, with its stand also of bronze, for washing, and you shall put it between the tent of atonement, appointment and the slaughter place, and shall put water in it. And Aharon and his sons shall wash from it their hands and their feet. When they go into the tent of appointment, or when they come near the slaughter place to attend, to burn an offering made by fire to Yahuwah, they wash with water, lest they die. And they shall wash their hands and their feet, lest they die. And it shall be a law forever to them, to him and his seeds throughout their generations. And Yahuwah spoke to Moshe, saying, And take for yourself choice spices, five hundred shekels of liquid myrrh, and half as much, two hundred and fifty, of sweet-smelling cinnamon, and two hundred and fifty of sweet-smelling cane, and five hundred of the cassia, according to the shekel of the set-apart place, and a hand of olive oil. And you shall make from these a set-apart anointing oil, a compound, blended, the work of a perfumer. It is a set-apart anointing oil, and with it you shall anoint the tent of appointment and the ark of the witness, and the table and all its utensils, and the lampstand and its utensils, and the solder place of incense, and the solder place of ascending offering with all its utensils, and the basin and its stand. And you shall set them apart, and they shall be most set apart. Whatever touches them is to be set apart. And you shall anoint Aharon and his sons, and set them apart, and to serve as priests to me. And speak to the children of Israel, saying, This is a set apart anointing oil to me throughout your generations. It shall not be poured on the flesh of a man, and make no other like it according to its composition. It is set apart. It is set apart to you. Whoever compounds any like it, or whoever puts any of it on a stranger, shall be cut off from his people. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, Take sweet spices, fragrant gum, and cinnamon, and galbanum, and clear frankincense with these sweet spices, all in equal amounts. Then you shall make of these an incense, a compound, work of a perfumer, salted, clean, set apart. And you shall beat some of it very fine, and put some of it before the witness in the tent of appointment where I meet with you. It is most set apart to you. And the incense which you make, do not make any for yourselves according to its composition. It is set apart to you for Yahuwah. Whoever makes any like it, to smell it, he shall be cut off from his people. And Yahuwah spoke to Moshe, saying, See, I have called by name Betzalel, son of Uri, son of Hur, of the tribe of Yehuda, And I have filled him with the spirit of Elohim in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all work to make designs for work in gold and in silver and in bronze and in cutting stones for setting and in carving wood and to work in all work. And I, look, I have appointed him, appointed with him <clears throat> Aholiab, son of Achisamech, of the tribe of Dan, and I have put wisdom in the hearts of every one who is wise hearted, and they shall make all that I have commanded you. The tent of appointment, and the ark of the witness, and the lid of atonement that is on it, and all the utensils of the tent, and the table and its utensils, and the clean gold lampstand with all its utensils, and the solder place of incense, and the solder place of ascending offering with all its utensils, and the basin and its stand 
and the woven garments and the set apart garments for Aharon the priest and the garments of his sons for serving as priests and the anointing oil and sweet incense for the set apart place according to all that I have commanded you they are to do and Yahuwah spoke to Moshe saying and you speak to the children of Israel saying my Sabbaths you are to guard by all means for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations to know that I Yahuwah am setting you apart and you shall guard the Sabbath for it is set apart to you everyone who profanes it shall certainly be put to death for anyone who does work on it that being shall be cut off from among his people six days work is done and on the seventh is a Sabbath of rest set apart to Yahuwah everyone doing work on the Sabbath day shall certainly be put to death and the children of Israel shall guard the Sabbath to perform the Sabbath throughout their generations as an everlasting covenant between me and the children of Israel it is a sign forever for in six days Yahuwah made the heavens and the earth and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed and when he had ended speaking with him on Mount Sinai he gave Moshe two tablets of the witness tablets of stone written with the finger of Elohim and when the people saw that Moshe was so long in coming down from the mountain the people gathered together to Aharon and said to him arise make us mighty ones who go before us for this Moshe the man who brought us up out of the land of Mitzrayim we do not know what has hap what has become of him and Aharon said to them take off the golden earrings which are in your ears the ears of your wives your sons and your daughters and bring them to me and all the people took off the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought them to Aharon and he took this from their hand and he formed it with an engraving tool and made a molded calf and they said this is your mighty one O Yisrael that brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim and Aharon saw and built a slaughter place before it and Aharon called out and said tomorrow is a festival to Yahuwah and they rose early on the next day and offered ascending offerings and brought peace offerings and the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play and Yahuwah said to Moshe Go, get down, for your people whom you brought out of the land of Mitzrayim have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made themselves a molded calf, and have bowed themselves to it, and slaughtered to it, and said, This is your mighty one, O Yisrael, who brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, I have seen this people, and see, it is a stiff-necked people. And now let me alone, that my wrath might burn against them, and I consume them, and I make of you a great nation. But Moshe pleaded with Yahuwah his Elohim, and said, Yahuwah, why does your wrath burn against your people, whom you have brought out of the land of Mitzrayim with great power and with a strong hand? Why should the Mitzrites speak and say, For evil he brought them out to kill them in the mountains, and to consume them from the face of the earth? Turn from the heat of your wrath, and relent from this evil to your people. Remember Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yisrael, your servants, to whom you swore by yourself, and said to them, I increase your seed like the stars of the heavens, and all this land that I have spoken of I give to your seed, and they shall inherit it forever. And Yahuwah relented from the evil which he had said he would do to his people. And Moshe turned and went down from the mountain, and in his hand were the two tablets of the witness, tablets written on both their sides, written on the one and on the other. And the tablets were the work of Elohim, and the writing was the writing of Elohim engraved on the tablets. And Yehoshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, and he said to Moshe, A noise of battle in the camp. But he said, It is not the sound of those who shout of might, nor is it the sound of those who cry out in weakness, but the sound of singing that I hear. And it came to be, as soon as he came near the camp, that he saw the calf and the dancing. And Moshe's displeasure burned, and he threw the tablets out of his hands and broke them at the foot of the mountain. And he took the calf which they had made, and burned it in the fire, and ground it into powder, and scattered it on the face of the water, and made the children of Israel drink it. And Moshe said to Aharon, what did this people do to you that you have brought so great a sin upon them? And Aharon said, Do not let the displeasure of my master burn. You know the people, that it is an evil. And they said to me, 
Make us mighty ones to go before us. For this Moshe, the man who brought us out of the land of Mitzrayim, we do not know what has become of him. And I said to them, Whoever has gold, let them take it off. And they gave it to me, and I threw it into the fire, and this calf came out. And Moshe saw that the people were let loose, for Aharon had let them loose, to their shame among their enemies. And Moshe stood in the entrance of the camp and said, Who is for Yahuwah? Come to me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves to him. And he said to them, Thus said Yahuwah Elohim of Israel, Each one put his sword on his side, pass over to and fro from gate to gate in the camp, and kill each and each one kill his brother, and each one his friend, and each one his relative. And the sons of Levi did according to the word of Moshe, and about three thousand men of the people fell that day. And Moshe said, You are ordained for Yahuwah today, since each one has been against his son and his brother, so as to bring upon you a blessing today. And it came to be on the next day that Moshe said to the people, you, you have sinned a great sin, and now I am going up to Yahuwah, if I might atone for your sin. And Moshe returned to Yahuwah and said, Oh, these people have sinned a great sin, and have made for themselves a mighty one of gold. And now, if you would forgive their sin, but if not, please blot me out of your book which you have written. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, Whoever has sinned against me, I blot him out of my book. And now go, lead the people to the place of which I have spoken to you. See, my messenger goes before you, and in the day of my visitation I shall visit their sin upon them. And Yahuwah plagued the people because they made the calf which Aharon made. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, Come, go up from here, you and the people whom you have brought out of the land of Mitzrayim, to the land of which I swore to Abraham, to Yitzchak, and to Yaakov, saying, To your seed I give it, and I shall send my messenger before you, and I shall drive out the Canaanite, and the Amorite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, and the Hivite, and the Jebusite, to a land flowing with milk and honey. For I do not go up in your midst, because you are a stiff-necked people, lest I consume you on the way. And when the people heard this evil word, they mourned, and no one put on his ornaments. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, Say to the children of Israel, You are a stiff-necked people. Should I go up in your midst for one moment, I shall consume you. And now, take off your ornaments, and I shall know what to do to you. So the children of Israel took off their ornaments at Mount Horeb. And Moshe took his tent and pitched it outside the camp, far from the camp, and called it the Tent of Appointment. And it came to be that everyone who sought Yahuwah went out to the Tent of Appointment, which was outside the camp. And it came to be, whenever Moshe went out to the tent, that all the people rose, and each man stood at his tent door and watched Moshe until he entered the tent. And it came to be, when Moshe entered the tent, that the column of cloud descended and stood at the door of the tent, and he spoke with Moshe. And all the people saw the column of cloud standing at the tent door, and all the people rose and bowed themselves, each one at the door of his tent. Thus Yahuwah spoke to Moshe face to face, as a man speaks to his friend. And he would return to the camp, but his servant Yahushua, son of Nun, a young man, did not leave the tent. And Moshe said to Yahuwah, See, you are saying to me, Bring up this people. But you have not made known to me whom you would send with me, though you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found favor in my eyes. And now, please, if I have found favor in your eyes, Please show me your way, and let me know you, so that I find favor in your eyes, and consider that this nation is your people. And he said, My presence does go, and I shall give you rest. And he said to him, If your presence is not going, do not lead us up from here. For how then shall it be known that I have found favor in your eyes, and I your people, except you go with us? Then we shall be distinguished, I and your people, from all the people who are upon the face of the earth. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, Even this word you have spoken I shall do, for you have found favor in my eyes, and I know you by name. Then he said, Please show me your esteem. And he said, I shall cause all my goodness to pass before you, and I shall proclaim the name of Yahuwah before you, and I shall favor him whom I favor, 
and shall have compassion on him whom I have compassion. But he said, You are unable to see my face, for no man does see me and live. And Yahuwah said, See, there is a place with me, and you shall stand on the rock, and it shall be, while my esteem passes by, that I shall put you in the cleft of the rock and cover you with my hand while I pass by. Then I shall take away my hand, and you shall see my back, but my face shall not be seen. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, Cut two tablets of stone like the first ones, and I shall write on these tablets the words that were on the first tablets which you broke. And be ready in the morning. Then you shall come up in the morning to Mount Sinai and present yourself to me there on the top of the mountain. And let no man come up with you, and let no man be seen in all the mountain, and let not even the flock or the herd feed in front of that mountain. And he cut two tablets of stone like the first ones. Then Moshe rose early in the morning and went up Mount Sinai, as Yahuwah had commanded him. And he took two tablets of stone in his hand. And Yahuwah came down in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name Yahuwah. And Yahuwah passed before him and proclaimed, Yahuwah, Yahuwah, an El compassionate and showing favor, patient and great and loving commitment and truth, watching over loving commitment for thousands, forgiving crookedness and transgression and sin, but by no means leaving unpunished, visiting the crookedness of the fathers upon the children and the children's children to the third and the fourth generation. And Moshe hurried and bowed himself before the earth and did obeisance, and said, If now I have found favor in your eyes, O Yahuwah, I pray, yet Yahuwah go on in our midst, even though we are stiff-necked people, and forgive our crookedness and our sin, and take us as your inheritance. And he said, See, I am making a covenant. Before all your people I am going to do wonders such as have not been done in all the earth, nor in any nation. And all the people among whom you are see shall the work of Yahuwah. For what, I am going, for what I am doing with you is awesome. Guard what I command you today. See, I am driving out from before you the Amorite, and the Canaanite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, and the Hivite, and the Jebusite. Guard yourself, lest you make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land where you are going, lest it be a snare in your midst. But break down their slaughter places, and smash their pillars, and cut down their Asherim. For you do not bow yourselves to another mighty one, for Yahuwah, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous El. Lest you make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, and they whore after their mighty ones, and slaughter to their mighty ones, and one of them invites you, and you eat of his slaughterings, and you take of his daughters for your sons, and his daughters whore after their mighty ones, and make your sons whore after their mighty ones. Do not make a molded mighty one for yourselves. Guard the festival of Matzot. For seven days you eat unleavened bread as I commanded you in the appointed time of the new month of Abib, because in the new month of Abib you come out of Mitzrayim. Everyone opening the womb is mine, and every male firstborn among your livestock, whether bull or sheep, but the firstborn of a donkey you ransom with a lamb, and if you do not ransom, then you shall break his neck. Every firstborn of your sons you shall ransom and they shall not appear before me empty-handed. Six days you work, but on the seventh day you rest. In plowing time and in harvest you rest. And perform the festival of Shavuot for yourself, of the first fruits of wheat harvest, and the festival of ingathering at the turn of the year. Three times in the year all your men are to appear before the Master Yahuwah, the Elohim of Yisrael. For I dispossess nations before you, and shall enlarge your borders, and let no one covet your land when you go up to appear before Yahuwah your Elohim three times in the year. Do not slay the blood of my slaughtering with leaven, and do not let the slaughtering of the festival of the Pesach remain until morning. Bring the first of the first fruits of your land to the house of Yahuwah your Elohim. Do not cook a young goat in its mother's milk. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, Write these words, for according to the mouth of these words, I have made a covenant with you and with Israel. And he was there with Yahuwah forty days and forty nights. He did not eat bread, and he did not drink water. And he wrote on the tablets the words of the covenant, the ten words. And it came to be when Moshe came down from Mount Sinai, while the two tablets of the witness were in Moshe's hand, when he came down from the mountain, 
that Moshe did not know that the skin of his face shone since he had spoken with him. And Aharon and all the children of Israel looked at Moshe and saw the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come near him. But Moshe called out to them, and Aharon and all the rulers of the congregation returned to him, and Moshe spoke to them. And afterward all the children of Israel came near, and he commanded them all that Yahuwah had spoken with him on Mount Sinai. And when Moshe ended speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. But whenever Moshe went in before Yahuwah to speak with him, he would remove the veil until he came out. And when he came out, he spoke to the children of Yisrael what he had been commanded. And the word of Yahuwah came to me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Yisrael dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own ways and deeds. To me their way was like the uncleanness of a woman in her monthly period. So I poured out my wrath on them for the blood they had shed on the land, and for their idols they defiled it. And I scattered them among the nations, and they were dispersed throughout the lands. I have judged them according to their ways and their deeds. And when they came to the nations wherever they went, they profaned my set-apart name, for it was said of them, These are the people of Yahuwah, and yet they have gone out of his land. But I had compassion on my set-apart name, which the house of Yisrael had profaned among the nations wherever they went. Therefore say to the house of Yisrael, Thus said the master Yahuwah, I do not do this for your sake, O house of Yisrael, but for my set-apart name's sake, which you have profaned among the nations wherever you went. And I shall set apart my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, which you have profaned in their midst, and the nations shall know that I am Yahuwah, declares the Master Yahuwah, when I am set apart in you before their eyes. And I shall take you from among the nations, and I shall gather you out of all lands, and I shall bring you into your own land, and I shall sprinkle clean water on you, and you shall be clean from all your filthiness, and from all your idols I cleanse you. And I shall give you a new heart, and put a new spirit within you. And I shall take the heart of stone out of your flesh, and I shall give you a heart of flesh, and put my spirit within you. And I shall cause you to walk in my laws, and guard my right rulings, and shall do them. And you shall dwell in the land that I give to your fathers. And you shall be my people, and I shall be your Elohim. And I shall save you from all your uncleannesses. And I shall care for, and I shall call for the grain and increase it. And I shall bring no scarcity of food upon you. And I shall increase the fruit of your trees and the increase of your fields, so that you need never again bear the reproach of scarcity of food among the nations. And you shall remember your evil ways and your deeds that were not good. And you shall loathe yourselves in your own eyes for your crookednesses and your abominations. Not for your sake am I acting, declares the Master Yahuwah. Let it be known to you. Be ashamed and blush for your ways, O house of Israel. Thus said the Master Yahuwah, On the day that I cleanse you from all your crookednesses, I shall cause the cities to be inhabited, and the ruined places shall be rebuilt, and the land that was laid waste tilled instead of being a ruin before the eyes of all who pass by. And they shall say, This land that was laid waste has become like the Garden of Eden, and the wasted, the deserted, and the destroyed cities are now walled and inhabited. Then the nations which are left all around you shall know that I, Yahuwah, have rebuilt the destroyed places and planted what was laid waste. I, Yahuwah, have spoken it, and I shall do it. Thus said the Master Yahuwah, Once again I shall let the house of Yisrael inquire of me to do for them. I shall increase their men like a flock. As a set-apart flock, as a flock at Yerushalayim, at her appointed times, so shall the wasted cities be filled with flocks of men, and they shall know that I am Yahuwah. And he said to them, Truly I say to you that there are some standing here who shall not taste of death at all, until they see the reign of Elohim having come in power. And after six days, Yeshua took Kepha and Yaakov and Yohanan, and led them up on the high mountain alone by themselves, and he was transformed before them, and his garments became glittering, exceedingly white, like snow, such as no launderer on earth is able to whiten. And there appeared to them Eliyahu with Moshe, and they were talking with Yeshua. 
And Kepha responding said to Yeshua, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. And let us make three booths, one for you, and one for Moshe, and one for Eliyahu, because he did not know what to say, for they were exceedingly afraid. And there came a cloud overshadowing them, and a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my son, the beloved, hear him. And suddenly, looking around, they no longer saw anyone with them, but only Yeshua. And as they were coming down from the mountain, he ordered them not to relate to anyone what they saw, till the son of Adam had risen from the dead. And they kept this matter to themselves, debating what the rising from the dead meant.